fine. He's asleep. Yeah, it's nothing to do with him, but this is just not a good time. Okay, well, I just came over to ask Dylan if you could help me move some Dylan's stuff. Dylan's not here. Well, I just needed some boxes moved from my Uncle Ed's over to my new place. I'll tell him. This is not a good time. Okay. Uh, oh, Detective Cutter, please, come on in. Uh, the, uh, yeah, everybody's inside. They're just waiting for you. What are the police doing here? Okay, the quicker we get the facts, the quicker we can get moving on this. So, Mr. Lewis, you want to fill us in? Uh, I don't have a lot to add, Cutter. I was here. Actually, I was I was headed for the kitchen, and I, I heard a, lot, a noise and I, out in the shed. <clears throat> the shed's how far from the house? It's about 50 yards. It was a loud noise. I thought maybe it was uh, an animal that had gotten in there. You heard the noise, and, 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 and then what happened? I went out there. I went in the shed. I, I ran into this character. I, we tussled. I hit my head, and uh, he skedaddled. That's it. Well, your brother said you didn't get a look at the guy. No. No, it was, uh, there was no light, and it happened so fast, I couldn't, I couldn't identify this guy if I tried. Well, how long would you say you were out there? Five, six minutes. Well, let's get back to the guy now. Do you remember anything about him? Do you, do you remember the, the clothes, the, the color of his clothes, the, the, the way his material, the material felt? You see, sir, I'm trying to determine whether he was a vagrant or a... Yeah, he was a vagrant. Got to be. That's too bad. That's why I came down here myself. Uh, a couple of guys on the loose I'm hoping to find. You talking about Ray Goodman's buddies? What were you, uh, where were you when this happened? I was in the house. So you didn't see the intruder either? No, I just heard a noise like everybody else. Hey, listen, maybe you guys want to take a look at that shed. It's right out here. It's a good idea. sort of angel of mercy doesn't mean that I'm gonna forget about the fact that you were stealing drugs. I'm only asking you to just bend a little bit. Just be fair. I mean, give me a second chance. You've been given second a chance. Second before. chance, please. Don't talk to me about second chances or being fair. You're the one who wouldn't allow me to have a second chance. That's Holly. Don't you remember? I was trying to get my life together. I was trying to feel good about myself. Get through all that stuff that happened with Nick and Mindy. And you didn't... I don't know what, it didn't sit right with you or something? I, you wouldn't give me the benefit of the doubt when Ed did. And I know why you didn't. It's because Ed saw me for who I really was. And he knew that I was getting better. And our relationship was getting strong. You didn't like that. Why don't you just admit it? Um, everything okay? No, you're, you're here in time for the lynching party. What? I got caught with my hand in the cookie jar. Congratulations, I'm sure the hospital's gonna give both of you medals. What are you talking about? I, I, I broke into the She didn't closet. break into the medicine closet. She was caught in there. Someone obviously let her in. They gave her a key. Lillian, I think I have a pretty good idea who it was. What do you mean, what, Lillian? Lillian didn't have anything to do with this. This was totally my idea. Oh, how stupid do you think I am? do that anyway. Who are you to talk? You're the real snoop in the house. <laughs> you know, how dare you speak to me that way? Because somebody has to tell you the truth. And I have never been scared of you. 
Well, may I remind you, Bess, that you are a guest in this house. And just as soon as you've recuperated and out of that contraption, out the front door it goes and you follow directly. Fine with me. Mm. Only I could use a little help right now getting to my room. My pleasure. You're sorry. What the hell are you talking about? Ellen Michael, I had no intention of putting you through that. Then what was your intention, Nick? Why did you renege on I didn't. I didn't renege. I have no desire to take anything away from you. Just, well, then why did it sound like you were? Well, maybe because you're so damn quick to jump to conclusions about me. You know, something happened, something said, and bam, just like that. You want to think the worst of me, Alan. Well, what am I supposed to think, Nick? What were you up to? Am I supposed to think this is all a charade? I was trying to help oh, you, Oh, fine. Alan. Here comes the double talk again. Will you please just shut up for once fine. in your damn talk. life? Look, I know what's going on with Alexandra. I understand what she's trying to do. Yeah, she after nephew. No, Alan Michael, she's trying to prove a point. She wants everyone to know that she is back in charge. That Spaulding is hers to do with what she wants to do with it. That she's still the boss. Yeah, well, the point has been made countless times, Nick. My aunt is no shrinking violet. If somebody doubts her power, she sets them dead right, straight. okay, okay. But don't you get it? I mean, with WSPR, she gets to kill two birds with one smooth stone, Alan Michael. She gets to bring you down a peg, and at the same time, she tries to curry favor with me. Yeah, from where I stand, she didn't have to try too hard. Seems your favor was pretty curried. Alan Michael, I'm her son. She is trying to bring me back into uh, her fold. Can we just not discuss all. the whys and wherefores and just get down to the facts? You have WSPR. What do you intend to do with it? As soon as I get complete control of WSPR, I'll sign it over. And you can give it to Jilly, or handle it any way that you damn well please. All right? So what? Are you trying to tell me not to get involved with Al Michael? No, Lucy. What, are you trying to tell me then that he's not a good person? Okay, look. Lucy, Alan Michael has many, many fine qualities. Ha ha! See, you ought to tell that to my dad, because he doesn't see the fine qualities in Alan. What's his name? Oh. Lainey, there's nothing wrong with going after what you want, right? I mean, if people didn't have vague dreams, you know, they would never know how much they could achieve, how happy they really could be. Yeah, you're right. I mean, dreams are wonderful, but sometimes when you make dreams come true, you can hurt other people. Oh, so you are telling me not to go after him. Look, I'm not against Ellen Michael, all right? It's just, Lucy, I like you. And, and even if you were not Frankie's little sister, I would still like you, I think. I, I would. And I just want to see you... I just don't want to see you get into a relationship that could hurt you. That is it. Well, you don't know that Alan Michael is going to hurt me. You're right, Lucy. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I want you to receive the kind of respect and consideration that you deserve. You don't... You don't still have... Feelings for Alan Michael, do you? Mm. I mean, I know that Let's when stop. somebody loves I'm just somebody, right there, stop. No, I do not have feelings for Alan Michael, and I'm not telling you these things because of that. It was a long time ago. Frankie, Frankie is the man of my dreams, and it took me too long to find that out. Probably because I was young, just like you are young, and sometimes young gets in the way of being smart. So are you telling me that you wouldn't be smart to get involved with Al Michael? Yes, maybe I am. I guess I owe you an apology. Yeah, I guess you do. Don't worry about it, forget it. Oh, yeah, I'd like to. Believe me, I don't like being wrong. <sighs> Look, Alan Michael, just as long as we're squared away, right? 
Look, I'm, I'm sorry for blowing my top. I'd like to think of us as friends, Alan Michael. Hell, brothers. Now, I don't think that we should let Alexandra come between that. And as far as I'm concerned, we don't have to, all right? As long as you and I stick together. We will. No, Alan Michael, what that means is not jumping at each other's throat the second that she tries to manipulate a situation. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Your, your throat is safe with me. Great. Nick, listen, listen here. Nick, I, I'm really appreciative of you giving me WSPR. But I gotta tell you, I learned about it in a very strange way. Well, I had to make it convincing for Alexandra, right? Shall I get you a tumbler? That's what the professional eavesdroppers use. <laughs> well, I was just making certain that my son and my nephew didn't tear one another apart. That would bother you? In spite of what you think, Mindy, I care deeply about both of them. This just happens to be Nick's turn. And I happen to truly believe that WSPR and Nick were made for each other, like I handed a glove. We'll see. <laughs> you do realize this is quite an opportunity for Nick. You do want to see him reach his full potential, don't you? Nick is capable of reaching his full potential without any help from you. Oh, come now, Mindy. You, of all people, should understand better how family can pave the way. Didn't you tell me you've been sitting in on Lewis boardroom meetings ever since you were what, knee-eyed or grass That's not the point. Nick and Alan Michael have become friends. Or at least they were until you pitted them against one another. No, Alex, that is nothing that I have ever seen my family do. What would you prefer, Mindy? Would you like to see him cut himself off from all advantages of being the Spalding? Just separate himself as far as he can from his family? If that would keep him and me from being spun into these endless spalding spider webs that you weave. Yes, that's what I would like much better. Oh, I, I better, uh, I better let Jilly know. Now? Uh, look, she's got as much at stake in this as I do, okay? And besides, I told her that I would call her the minute I knew anything. All right, okay, look, but she's the only person that could hear about this, okay? At least until now. If we're gonna pull this thing off, we can't let everybody knowing about it. Ah, uh, it's just a machine. <sighs> Jilly, uh, hi, it's Alan Michael. Listen, uh, if you're there, pick up. If you're not, give me a call. I have something very interesting to tell you. Where's Melinda? Oh, I think she went upstairs to her room. She looks a little tired, dear. She'll take some vitamin supplements. That girl has no stamina at all. Look, darling, I would like for you and I to sit down and have a drink and toast to this new WSPR. Well, how about another time, Alexandra? Not tonight. Sure. I thought I left you in your room. I didn't stay there. Mm. You really blew it this time. Big time. What? You bet on the wrong horse, honey. You should never have let Nick take over that television station. I mean, I know he's your son. I know he's your favorite. But Alan Michael is the one with the real business sense. And you are not wise to alienate him. Starving to death or anything. It's just gonna take me a couple minutes to get your feed together, that's all. Cool. 